the meeting to order. Daniel Boutwell will lead us in our invocation and pledge. Let us pray. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for the abundance of blessings and your grace and your mercy. Lord, as you show us each and every day. Lord, as we look towards you today, we ask you, Father, to give us wisdom. Uh, today, you help us, Lord God, the meeting be done orderly and uh, pleasing to your sight. We ask you, Father, to bless our leaders. Lord, give them wisdom. And God, we ask you to continue to bless this city. Uh, God, that we always look towards you. Lord, we're so thankful for all that you've given us. We thank you for the ones. Lord, has died, Lord God, he's given us. Lord, it's Memorial Day that we come. Give us remembrance of the things they've done to give us the freedom. Thank you for all things. First on the agenda is approval of minutes. So um, we did have someone sign in on the 6th of May issue. Um, uh, is that the work session or the council? It's the actual meeting. Okay. Did everybody read the minutes? Did everybody read the minutes? Yes or no? Some of them, yeah. Okay. Uh, important, I think, for a city council to read through the minutes to verify the information that came through. Six, uh, six of May, I read a resolution, referenced the mayor's misuse of some facilities here. Um, I'll, everybody familiar with that? You're all here. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you agree with that resolution? No, I don't. And why? Why? It's, I mean, he, he it, you suggested it to me when I suggested or showed you the information that he had misused the facility. You said he should be admonished, and we could do that. You said that. I, I didn't say he should be admonished. I said, you know, that's a censure. A I'm sorry, censure is a word you used. I said that could be taken up with the ethics commission. No, you also said okay. it could be censured. Okay, Mr. Pepper, why? I'm not going to respond. Uh, I'm not sure what I think about that. I do think we should be careful of um, more careful of using any type of facility um, when the public can't. Because it could be an ethics could be. concern. Yeah. Okay. I do think that um, we should not have access to those facilities if uh, the public's not allowed to use them. Uh, so I do think that that was uh, an abuse of an abuse of his authority. I would agree, much like what the council president said. Uh, we need to be cognizant of using those facilities when they're not open to the public, but uh, that is an issue for the Ethics Commission to take up. Okay. In the minutes, um, my concern as recorded in the minutes was that uh, the mayor should relinquish his key if he's shown a pattern of misconduct in using that. Uh, I still submit to you that that resolution should stand and you can act upon it as a legislative body to censure the person who decided to not be here today and in previous events so that he has some accountability. At present, he has none. And that's my conclusion. Thank you, Mr. Faruqi. Yeah, am I echoing? Someone? To, sorry. Are we good to take these together? Okay. Uh, we do have a motion uh, by Mr. Pepper to take Second. all the minutes together. Second by Mr. Pike. Uh, any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Uh, minutes are approved five to zero. Um, approval of monthly bills, and we did have a request for check thirteen two zero eight and thirteen two ninety seven to be taken separately. So we'll take thirteen two zero eight first. So moved. Motion by Mr. <coughs> Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 No. Aye. 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 Uh, check 13 208 through 4 to 1. Next is check 13 297. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. Aye. No. Aye. Aye. Check 13 297 is approved 4 to 1. Uh, and then we will take up the rest of the so April moved. monthly bills. Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? 
Roll call. Aye. 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 Uh, the rest of the monthly bills are approved five to zero. Next, we have public hearings, ordinance 244584, uh, approved rezoning request 1422-24, tract of land containing approximately 4.9 acres to be zoned M1 light industry located at 222 and 223 Beltline Road Northwest. How y'all doing today? Good. Good. How are you? That's great. That's great. I'm doing well. I'm Tommy Williams with the planning department. And the applicant is requesting to rezone 4.9 acres to M1 um, to zone 4.9 acres to M1 Light Industry. It's MJ Precision, located at 222 and 223 Bedline Road Northwest. The current land use is light industry, and the planning commission approved the rezoning, the zoning March 19th. All right, this is a public hearing. I'm sorry, were you done, Tommy? Yes, sir. All right. Um, to the public hearing, we'll open the floor now if anyone's here to speak on this item. I can speak now. All right, seeing no one here to speak, we'll consider the public hearing closed. So Motion by Mr. Pepper. <clears throat> second. Second by Mr. Pike. Uh, any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Uh, resolution, sorry, ordinance 244584 is approved 5 to 0. Next is resolution 24079, approved request for special event retail liquor license by WIT LLC doing business as JW Steakhouse for the Decatur Morgan County Convention and Visitors Bureau Tourism Bash on May 23rd, 2024, located at 350 Market Street, Northeast Decatur, Alabama 35601. And this event has, been, has met all requirements and we recommend approval. All right, this is a public hearing. If there's anyone here to speak on this item, you can speak now. All right, seeing no one here to speak, we'll consider the public hearing closed. So Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Resolution 24079 is approved 5 to 0. Resolution 24081 uh, approved FY 2024. Um, mid-year funding adjustments. So Good morning, moved. Council. Don oh, Ronnick, our finance department. As our CFO, Kyle DeMaestra, mentioned in the last work session, we have presented to you the mid-year needs of city departments. These requests come from our departments across the city while working closely with our budget liaisons, myself, and the CFO. On the list are the needs that have been excuse me, identified and approved in finance committee to be set before the council for a vote. I'm happy to try to answer any questions you might have. Do we have a mo yeah, motion yeah. by Mr. Pepper? Second. Second by Mr. McMasters. Any discussion? I'll simply say that I did not um, su support the original budget, and uh, it's hard for me to support uh, $4.67 million worth of increases to a budget that I didn't support in the first place, so I won't support this today. All right. Any other discussion? <clears throat> uh, roll call. Aye. 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 No. Aye. Aye. Uh, resolution 24081 is approved 4 to 1. Resolution 24082 approved fire training tower inspection agreement. Good morning, Council. Uh, Good morning. This uh, resolution is uh, to establish an agreement to get our fire training tower uh, inspected every year. Uh, this helps us remain in FPA 1403 to the line. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper, second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? Roll call? Aye. 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 Resolution 24082 is approved 5 to 0. Resolution 24083 authorizes the mayor to enter into an agreement with Lord Eck and Sergeant for design and cost estimate for Old Bank renovations. Yes, Council Alan Stover with Community Development Manager. This agreement will allow LAS to do the design and give us cost estimates for renovations to the Old Bank. These, these renovations are this uh, agreement contract would be paid for out of the past grant that we received for uh, the old bank renovation. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper. <coughs> Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Resolution 24083 is approved 5 to 0. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Resolution 24084, award bid number 24018 to Superior Irrigation and Landscape for irrigation supplies needed for Jack Allen Fields, being the lowest responsible bidder. Yes, the resolution says Jack Allen Fields, but this is actually the softball complex. 
um, Superior Irrigation submitted uh, the sole, they were the loan respondent, and it is recommended for approval. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? I will uh, support this today, but I still have concerns that we seem to have a, a pattern of one person bidding or one company bidding, so um, I would like to see a uh, I don't know, some sort of change to that where we're getting more bidders because it's almost like, uh, you know, we're, just, we're going with that one person and um, we don't have anything to compare that price to. So I will support it today, but uh, I think we need to do a better job. All right, any other discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Uh, resolution 24084 approved 5 to 0. Resolution 24085 declares surplus of vehicles no longer in use by youth, youth services and environmental departments. These are some surplus vehicles that are, we would like to, um, to surplus and get off the books. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. <coughs> Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Resolution 24085 is approved 5 to 0. Resolution 24086 approved Don's Mercantile Sidewalk Cafe. All right, the applicant is requesting a sidewalk cafe at 119 2nd Avenue. The cafe will consist of two tables and four chairs, and the five foot net clearance will be maintained. It passed the Planning Commission on April 23rd, and all departments have signed up on it, including the PDRA. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 <clears throat> Resolution 24087, approve agreement with DDRA for usage of Artist Alley known as Sunnyside. Kelly. Good morning, Council. Kelly Thomas. Uh, this is just to allow the ACA students to perform more frequently in the Sunnyside without having to take on liability insurance or an event rental fee for the space. Um, it does not exclude anyone else from using the space. It simply promotes the students using it more. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Justin, did you have a comment on this one? While he's coming, did I? It's my understanding that the DDRA is covering the insurance uh, liabilities associated with it. Who's, who's covering that? The school, thank you. Um, is this um, where they're going to paint? Is this the resolution? That's the next one. Are you talking about on the on the street? Yes. That's the next, that's one. The next one. So that's the next resolution? Yeah. Oh, well, then could, could you change that 7 to 8? Yeah, or if you want to go ahead and comment on that one, you can. Okay. Um, well, as far as that one goes, uh, what are they planning on putting on the street? Well, then maybe we should wait because <laughs> Kelly can. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let's, let's wait until we vote on this one and then we can come. Uh, I do have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion on this is on 087. Roll call. Aye. 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 Uh, resolution 24087 approve 5 to 0. Resolution 24088 approve agreement with DDRA regarding facilitation of asphalt art intersection. This is simply allowing the ACA to design and paint the intersection of First and Moulton. So asphalt art has been proven to slow traffic because it actually makes people stop and look at the paint job. Um, so we would like to bring some colorful just art to that space. Um, we're asking Kimberly Parker, who's the director for the ACA, to design that. It'll be more of a geometric painting, not so much a mural or an art piece. So really just fun shapes and colors. All right, uh, Justin. <clears throat> Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I think, um, so is there any limitations on what they can and can't put on there? I'm sure there are limitations. It's driven by, I think this idea came from Calhoun, maybe, uh, or the ACA, um, so that's for their art students. So there probably are limitations that would have to be approved. Um, we actually would ask you all to approve the piece before we paint it. Yeah. And how often would it be painted, like have to be closed down to paint? So depending on the traffic amount in that spot, it could last anywhere from two to three years. Okay. Um, I just think it would be an excellent uh, place to put a mural. 
It's worth it. We can have that discussion. Yeah. I think um, it would be. Yeah, we can have that discussion. I think there's all kind of ideas we could have for those type of things. So. I know she specifically prohibited that, but. Yeah, we, we can talk about, I mean, we obviously like murals. They're all over the place downtown. So I think um, we can have that I think discussion. It would be. Yeah. Good idea to put a Steve Perkins memorial there for a mural, excuse me. <clears throat> That's All right, thanks, Justin. So moved. Uh, motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? Taylor, we're expecting that to last two to three, five years. Um, and we've got a grant that basically covers the uh, work itself. There, I didn't see anything where it said five years down the line, six years down the line when it's got to be redone, that there's some, there's a funding source that will cover that. Does that just fall back to the city? Is that another expense that There's actually will? wordage in the agreement that says we can either choose to touch it up at our expense or the city can choose to just blacktop it again, depending on what the thought process is at the time. Okay, so the expense will be with you then mm -hmm. as far as retouch, okay. I'm, I'm satisfied then, thank you. All right, thanks, Kelly. We do have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Resolution 24088 is approved 5 to 0. Resolution 24089 agreement with Morgan County Emergency Management Agency regarding Browns Ferry Nuclear Plant Emergency. So moved. Motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Mr. Faruqi had signed in. You all read that down again? Yes. Okay. Um, in it, it talks about a requirement for the city to provide personnel for a public information officer in <clears throat> case there is an incident. Who is our public information officer? We, do you want to answer that? We, we don't have a public information officer except for within the PD, but do you want to reference that? We could, we could appoint someone for that right. in that it's, case. It's either going to be somebody in the police department or the fire department. They just need somebody. That's our. I'm told this is already in place as far as this process. This it just memorializes. It would likely be the um, what's our end's title? Public information. Officer. Yeah, public information officer within the PD that exists. Okay, I talked to that young lady. Yeah. Um, she's not an officer, um, and in the track record from recent incidents, including the murder of Steve Perkins. The fiasco at Third Friday, the most recent gag order, demonstrates a lack of capability within the police department to manage that function. So God help us, should we have a, an actual emergency in the city involving nuclear facility down the street? Before we go ahead and just approve this, I'd ask that we look at what are the qualifications of the individual assigned to do that job. And perhaps maybe we could get a council together of people who are like, likely responsible for that function. I think there's three that I'm aware of in the city that are being paid by the city, including educator schools, to maybe look at who might be the best person to accomplish that task for the city in an emergency. The school public information person would not be someone we could appoint to that because they don't operate under the city's um, purview at all. Okay. So. I think equally they're all pretty much skilled in the same communications degree that may give them that, or journalistic. <clears throat> but my point is the track record currently for that function in the city is woefully inadequate. And for, if it's an emergency, we're signing an MOU to authorize this person to do that function, we need to go to the drawing board back and figure out how to do this better. It doesn't name Irene specifically. Does it just it? has to have the yeah, a, a person. All right, any other discussion? We do have a motion and a second. I will, I'll simply say before we vote on it, uh, I'm gonna support this today, but uh, Mr. Farouk's point is, should be very well taken. I think it's important that uh, we have someone who's capable of doing that. Uh, and uh, so I, I appreciate your point, Mr. Farouk, but uh, anyway, no okay. forward. Any other discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Uh, resolution 24089 is approved 5 to 0. Uh, resolution 24090 authorized the purchase of an articulated truck for the landfill. 
So moved. Oh, Motion sorry. by Mr. Pepper. Aye. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. One, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> One is Island Landfill and Recycling. This is, we're asking you to approve the replacement of articulated truck that is now eight years old. We use this truck for our hauling capabilities, whether it's dirt, uh, rock, or whatever we, we need, and we're asking for your approval. All right, we do have a motion to second. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Resolution 24090 is approved 5 to 0. Ordinances first reading. Ordinance 244586 approved street name change from Acro Lane Southeast to Sand Hill Lane Southeast. The applicant is requesting a street name change from Acro Lane Southeast to Sand Hill Lane Southeast. Southeast. He is requesting this name change because his property is the only property that fronts Acro Lane. All right, any questions or discussion? All right, boards and committees appoint James King Jr. to the Mental Health Center of North Central Alabama, Decatur Morgan County Board, term expiring April 1st, 2030. Someone. <laughs> okay, we have a motion by Mr. Pepper. Second. Second by Mr. Pike. Any discussion? <coughs> Roll call. Aye. 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 Uh, appointment of James King is approved five to zero. Uh, we will have a special called meeting uh, scheduled for Thursday, May 23rd, 2024 at 9 a.m. <coughs> Herman will talk about that in just a second. The next council work session will be held on June 3rd, 2024 at 5 p.m. Um, because of the holiday next week. And then the council meeting will be held right after June 3rd, 2024 at 6 p.m. Herman. Okay, thank you. Uh, over the last several months, we've been uh, working with Greenpoint Ag. And by the way, three of their officials are with us today. Uh, the purpose of this just to give you an outline of what you would consider on Thursday morning. Uh, Greenpoint Ag is a multi-billion dollar operation. It has a retail wholesale uh, across Southeast. It has a temporary uh, headquarters here in the Somerville Road area. It has uh, fertilizer uh, bagging and fertilizer warehouses here. Uh, their idea is that they wish to make a more permanent location in Decatur. Uh, they have worked diligently to find this location. Uh, if they're not able to come to Decatur or stay in Decatur, they'll have to look other other cities. But uh, basically, uh, what they are contemplating, along with the city, if y'all see this is a good investment is the property it used to be the renaissance bank uh, they would take that building down it would become a parking lot they would make improvements drainage and all the necessary improvements uh, to that lot in addition across the street uh, uh, what used to, is the mccullough building and mcclary uh, they would uh, have a rental of that they would make a multi-million dollar investment to bring their headquarters downtown uh, they would bring uh, approximately 100 employees with average salaries, six figures plus. Uh, they would also, of course, it's the headquarters, they would bring in people from across uh, uh, their headquarters, I mean, their uh, corporate uh, employees to visit here. They'd stay in their hotels and all that. Uh, this would, of course, give the city additional parking. It would also bring uh, a major corporate citizen downtown uh, for major renovations. Uh, what's contemplated, uh, Ingham Edwards and his wife uh, own the Renaissance Bank property. Uh, what would be involved, like I said, they would take, uh, Greenpoint would take that building down, it would become a parking lot uh, whereby the city and Greenpoint would share it. Uh, we have, because we don't know the exact uh, number of spaces that would be available because it, we gotta, it's got to be drawn the plans, but it's an estimate of 130 plus. What's contemplated is the city would have access to, during the, the day, uh, 15 spaces. Uh, Greenpoint would have access, and we would have that access 24 seven. Greenpoint would have at least 20 spaces available 24 seven. In addition to that, after uh, 6 p.m., uh, the remaining spaces, which would be uh, 
right at a little over 100 uh, would be available to the city. And on the weekends, uh, I can let them share, but it basically they, it's a merger of several different companies in the last few years to bring this company together. Uh, they're in the economy and all those kind of things. Uh, they have uh, wholesale retail, agronomy business across the southeast. All right. They're temporarily headquartered over here on Summer Road. Most of us are familiar with Alabama Farmers Co-op and those headquarters, it's, it's in that area. In addition, their fertilizer warehouse and bagging is on Market Street. They anticipated when the, at least 100 employees to be housed within uh, these headquarters when, it, when it's open. All right. Let's talk about uh, it would be a lease. The city of Decatur would lease the property from the Edwards family at $7,000 per month. Uh, each year on anniversary, that would increase 2.875, which accounts for uh, inflation. So we would have that primary lease, and then Greenpoint would sublease from the city, just like I talked about before, the space and all that. <clears throat> and they would pay uh, $1,500 per month toward the rental. Uh, keep in mind that the cost of the removal of the building and the improvements to the building to be at the cost of Greenpoint Ag. And uh, that's uh, one other item. If Edwards family decides they want to sell it or have an offer to buy, for somebody to buy it, the city has the right of first refusal. And we have 15 days to determine whether we want to buy the property or not. If we choose not to buy it, Greenpoint has that same option. Uh, if we choose uh, to, for whatever reason, not to lease it any longer, we would make Greenpoint aware of that and, they, and it could, the lease could be assigned to them. Uh, the lease provides that the only ones we can provide uh, that assignment to is Greenpoint or one of their subsidiaries or affiliates. Any, any other would have to have the Edwards family approval. So that's basically a general idea of what we're talking about. Of course, Greenpoint, I appreciate it. It's been a, a very exciting and you know, sometimes uh, it's stalled because you've got lots of different properties involved. Uh, but now we're, we're ready to bring it forward. And I don't know who wants to speak. Uh, that, was, that was my soliloquy. I don't know how well it did, but it did. That, from the city standpoint, that's what we do. Would you go over again the parking arrangement as okay. far as the allocation of parking spaces? Yes. Uh, Greenpoint would have 20 spaces 24 7. Okay. We would have 15 spaces 24 7. Uh, that we estimate around 133 or 130. So that leaves spaces. roughly, roughly 90, 95 spaces. What? All right, then after one. six, between their business hours, uh, they would have access to everything except the 15 <coughs> after 6 p.m. and on the weekends we would have access to all of it except for the 20 spaces so it's about 113 spaces we would have access to and if you just subtract the 15 it would be 98 if i'm doing my math right 98 additional spaces downtown for us to, to use. but only for use after 6 p.m on business days yeah. okay yeah. Now, of course, uh, we'll have to see what the particular needs are. My understanding, if they don't need it, they, they certainly can uh, need all those spaces. Uh, they can, we can make that arrangement. But, the, but I, what I'm basing it on is what we've agreed to, and that's what we can rely on. I guess my question is, we're paying $7,000 a month for the property, and we have access to the, what, 15 spaces? During the day. During the day. And then we have access to the 95, 98 after 6 p.m. Yes, but don't don't forget the part about that the headquarters are here, their employees are here. We have a major renovation in our downtown area. That's all part of the scene. 
you know, that's all, that's part of the investment. You know, without the parking, they, they're not bringing their headquarters here. I mean, I understand that. I fully yeah, understand that. I just, I guess I'm just trying to rationalize the, the $7,000 that we're paying and the spaces that we're not allowed to use until after 6 p.m. And it kind of goes back to the $6,000 of the old Social Security building that we're continuing to pay and nobody's using. I mean, it just, yeah. it just kind of, okay. It is offset about 1500 back. About 15, yeah, 1500 yeah. which is still $5,500. Right. Yeah. Okay. Any questions anybody has? Discussion? What's the, and this may be a question for you guys, what's the likely investment in the, in the building that you're going to renovate? Do you, sure. <clears throat> Just give your name for, for Bain. Uh, I'm Jeff Blair, President and CEO of Greenpoint. Um, the, the initial investment, uh, which is probably is budgeted right now around $7 million in terms of the total investment in, in the renovation of the two buildings. And that includes somewhere between, depending on our budget and what has to happen, 150 to could be north of 250,000 on the on the parking lot to to take down the building, redo the utilities, lights, repave, stripe all that. That's up. That's for us, our responsibility. So it's part of that lease arrangement. And as far as as far as use, obviously for us to make that kind of substantial investment in the building, we need to have a place to have people park. We've obviously been talking to the city and the county about it. And, we understand that you guys are out of out of spaces too on certain days. So the idea is to look for the win-win and say, hey, if we can use it during the day for our folks, whatever's not being used by us, have it to use for other folks uh, to share it. That's really the, that's really the concept behind it. Okay. Any questions for Jeff? <coughs> All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I certainly appreciate the assistance we received over the months, and interaction, and we're pleased to bring this to you because it's up to y'all. But we, we think it is a good investment overall. Okay. And it locks in parking and other things for 30 years. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, sir. How long would it take you all to complete the project? Do you all know? Do you all have like a, a, a time frame? <laughs> um, we anticipate sort of a 90 to 120 day planning session to try and get the final plans. We've got some work. This has obviously been, we've been, this has been a project uh, between five different parties to bring together. Um, we anticipate 12 month build, so fingers crossed, we'd say 15 realistically, since I've never seen a construction project go on time. Um, hopefully a year and a half, all okay. of them the date of we start, and they're ready to start construction as soon as we get the approval awesome. and get the project through the cycle. We've got, you know, we've got to continue the financing and all that work. Sounds good, thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions? All right, uh, we, anything else from directors? City folks. Okay. We will move into our uh, public comment section of the meeting. Um, as usual, if we can do three minutes, uh, or we will do three minutes, uh, please address the council um, and, and no profanity. Uh, Justin, you were first on the list. Good morning again. Good morning. Um, <clears> Hold <throat> on, uh, let me get to my notes real quick. All right, so um, you guys were just discussing that uh, that situation with that corporation, correct? So is that why was that not on the agenda? It's on Thursdays. What do you mean? That Thursdays, it's on Thursdays agenda. That's why he was presenting it today. So it's on Thursdays. Okay. So um, were you speaking as the city attorney, Justin? As far as we know. <laughs> okay. So was it appropriate for you to advocate for a private company? Not advocate. Using your I'm position? Sharing, I'm just sharing the information. Right. But you actually used a word to describe this thus using your position to advocate for that company I'm at holding a city position using the word and I'm using your word exciting anytime we get a project as a city to come down to town potentially that is exciting yes sir. is that your job as city attorney to advocate for private businesses I'm not advocate I'm advocating oh you use the word city. exciting sir anyway uh, you feel that's appropriate to, to sway anybody's decision here 
I'm not trying to sway anybody's position. I know. Very but you just spoke on it for three they, they, plus they, minutes, well, I advocating to, for a private corporation. I, I'm advocating. So moving on, yeah. is that uh, parking lot going to be considered private property or public property? It, it's it's owned by Bingham Edwards, as he said. Right. So when we he are says leasing. That he's it. turning over to city. No, he's not turning it over. We're leasing, leasing it. it back. The parking lot. Yes. So is that going to be private or public? It, it's under lease um, to the city with the sublease agreements and I mean, the, the idea is for the public it's to be still, able to park in there. Yeah. So would, would it's still privately be owned. able to be trespassed from that parking lot even though it's for public use? It just depends on what they're doing. There. No, they're entitled to be there when the city has the right to use those spaces. So no, they would not be. But it is privately owned. The idea is to bring public parking downtown. Gosh, if only we just voted on a parking deck. <laughs> do, do you think that would take away revenue from the parking deck? Would what? A parking lot, additional parking lot that's free to the public. No, I think this will actually generate deck? revenue for huh? us. I think this will be a revenue generator. So you're going to charge for parking? No, in that park? but we're bringing 100 uh, employees to downtown every day, which will produce revenue downtown. Okay, then uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to get you guys on the record as far as that goes. Um, I wanted to ask Mr. McMasters, uh, as the police liaison, <coughs> how you felt about uh, the Joe Renshaw making threats, a lieutenant in the Decatur Police Department, to individuals, allegedly. I don't think that was um, a very good representation of our police department. And so, I haven't had a chance to talk with Chief Pinion about what allegedly has happened. No, I hadn't, Rodney. I was busy yesterday at work, and it came out Friday. Because he had actually sent a message to somebody, and I'm going to paraphrase because I'm not trying to upset anybody, uh, because I'm going to swap out a word, and saying, do you really think DPD and the Sheriff's Department is going to help you F-words? That's his uh, lieutenant in the police department, senior leadership there saying that Again, I, are you are you planning on discussing that with him i plan on having a discussion with the chief yes. and is there going to be any discussion on why you, uh, you guys or have you guys had any meetings about the chief of police allegedly committing perjury last week claiming that he had no idea about uh that picture with joe renshaw lieutenant posing with Mac Marquette clarifying for those wondering where I stand I stand with my brother no I haven't had a chance to talk with you because I know numerous times we have brought it up here right and there's been private meetings where stuff like this has been brought mm -hmm. he said over there in the middle of court that he had no knowledge of any of this we did just hit three minutes yeah. no, it's, 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 it's fine it's fine let them uh, let them speak because it's just <clears throat> okay then uh what about when uh, uh lieutenant joe renshaw sent a message and i'm going to paraphrase this as well threatening somebody saying you and i'm editing effed with the wrong group of people you won't see it coming that's on text as well from the same phil mccrotch oh i mean mcgroin ha <laughs> Are you asking me or? Well, I was mainly asking McMasters. Mr. Gladier, this is not, hold on. I'm, I'm asking Mr. Mr. McMasters uh, about what his. I, I will comment on it. Uh, I think all of the things you've said, and I was sent those over the weekend, are completely inappropriate, and there should absolutely be discipline from my point of view. So I hope that comes very quickly. Yeah, I, I think it was completely inappropriate. And the fact that there was. We do have to accounts. be careful talking about personnel matters, right. but that's, that's my answer. Well, I'm, I'm saying this to inform you guys to where if there's any doubt as far as um, whether the messages were sent, that's why I'm sharing this. With I got them too, and that's why I said what I just said. And what about, so how many fake accounts is he using for official business? I don't because know. Because he claimed in court that they were for investigative purposes, even that Phil McGroin account. Yeah. So is that endorsed by Decatur Police Department to have fake accounts sending threats? 
I don't uh, like, is that I certainly hope practice? sending threats. No, um, as far as the accounts, I don't know the policy on that. Do you know, Mr. I, McMasters? Are you know. planning on having a meeting or anything about this? Or I, I'm, I'm going to talk to the chief about it. Yes. And what is your recommendation going to be? Or I feel the same way Mr. Ladner does that it's a poor representation of the city, and there should be some discipline because of it. When do you plan on having this meeting and it's sharing soon anything as about I can. It? as soon as I can. And we should expect a comment from you next city council meeting about, I mean, I understand you can't comment about public matters, but you could right. at least on, come on up personnel here. Personnel issues, I, I can't, but you know, I, I, I plan on having a conversation, yes. Do you still feel the chief is re uh, ready to lead the department, even though he allegedly committed perjury? Who's, how did he commit perjury? Yeah, but that's that's all. I got. All right, thanks, Justin. And uh, wait, real quick, I did I did want to thank you uh, for what you did the other week. So thank you. I, what did, you I, took time out to okay. actually meet with your constituents. Okay. And yeah, that's it's good good conversation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, uh, Anissa. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um. The gag order hearing was May um, 17th, last Friday. Um, the one fact that the public learned from the proceeding was that the Aaliyah body cam footage was not treated as evidence. Per Captain Rick Archer, he stated and was under the impression that he was able to do whatever he wanted or they were able to do whatever they wanted regarding the body cam footage. <clears throat> Aaliyah and the DA had the footage, sec footage secured. The only entity that did not was the Decatur Police Department. What does it mean to respect the integrity of an investigation? I'm gonna start with you, McMasters. Just what it, to not try to sway it one way or the other. You, there's facts and that's it. What about you, Ladner? Um same i mean it's protecting evidence it's uh you know there's conversation about chain of custody understanding who has access to actual evidence um all those things i'm not in that line of work right. so but that's what i understand it to mean what you think mr jackson i'm simply going to say that uh, respecting the integrity means that we're going to do everything by the book we're going to do we're going to follow policies and procedures we're going to do what we know is right and not uh, stray away from that mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd echo everything they said, but uh, yeah, I think it, there are policies and procedures around these things that need to be followed. That's right. Um, and I think you and I had this conversation and some others too, you know, in the very beginning, I had said the same thing, that the footage should be released. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is I didn't, I didn't realize, no problem saying that, I didn't realize the repercussions of that, that further down the road, mm -hmm. um, which is why when it played out that they did not want the footage released mm -hmm. um, to protect the integrity of the investigation. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, to me, it means you must remain impartial and objective throughout the process, avoiding any biases that could compromise the fairness of the investigation. So I asked on April 1st if the council saw the Aaliyah body cam footage that was leaked on March 27th. Herman Marks, he, he stopped the, um, from you all from answering, and he stated, this leak impacts at least three to four proceedings. They, the council, do not need to per perpetuate infringe or impair on the proceedings of the circuit court personnel board and federal court. Do you still believe that, Mr. Marks? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, at the gag order hearing, under oath, Todd Pinion confessed that he showed Tab, McMasters, and Latner the Leo body cam, possibly the original or edited version sometime after the indictment. Mr. Marks, um, as the city attorney, why would councilmen need to see Aaliyah body cam footage sometime after the indictment, but before the leak on March 27th? Without, that's, that's the decision of the police chief. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to answer that? Yes, please. Um, I, I believe the date I saw that was March 11th. Mm -hmm. I, I know it was in March. Um, and it was at the request of the chief that I watch it. Um, and my assumption is, I don't know exactly why 
is because I have made statements sitting right here. I've had a lot of questions for him and others about what happened. And my assumption is he thought the best way to answer all of my questions and maybe the opinions I had given up here was just to say, watch it. Um, so it was, I think it was March 11th, I'm almost certain is when I watched it. Thank you. McMasters, when did you see it? The same day with him. Okay. Um, would you say that the body cam footage that you saw was the one that was that was what was leaked on March 27th? It appeared to me to be the same one. I did not watch the 1819 news. I still haven't to this day, so okay. I don't know, but I was told it was. So. Okay, thank you. Um, Lieutenant Renshaw's testimony that he created fake, uh, fake pages on Facebook, and one of his fake pages, we do not, we know now, this is a fact, we have all the screenshots from his interactions with people, that he targeted, threatened, and docked citizens. As the police liaison, what is your ex maximum extent of disciplinary action? That's up to the policy. What is your coach. recommendation? What, what it's I it's recommend is irrelevant. What his recommendation is? That's a no, that's no, mayor's it's decision. It's, it's, it's yeah. irrelevant. Okay. Thank you. As a police liaison, if you, from your opinion, what do you think should be the disciplinary action? It should be severe. Okay. Last question, um, do you know of any comprehensive plan being proposed to the city uh, for the police department? Yes. Um, how long have you known of this plan? Uh, she's been working on it a while. I'm not sure exactly how many days, how many months, but I know he's been working on something. So we've asked multiple times in city council meetings regarding a plan. Um, why haven't you all been transparent in regards to the details of those plans and phases? Because it is, it's not my plan to release. If it was, I probably would have had something out by now. Uh, I would have. The chief wants to get the plan in totality and present it. Who did he, do you know who assisted him with the plan? I don't. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Anissa. Uh, Alvin. Uh, Mr. Faruqi. <coughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, the chief said in an article in Indicator Daily that he would meet with the public anytime, any place. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, okay. Rodney had me for a second. Um, I asked after the six May meeting to meet with him. Uh, I cc'd you on a message that I sent to him. Mm -hmm. Has he responded to you about any of those issues? No. Okay, that was a simple request to have a meeting with me. Decatur Daily says he will do it. He said he would do that in the paper. He told me personally he would meet with me. Uh, he has chosen not to. Uh, not a good track record to meet with the public and, and then, well, choose not to meet with the public when you say you're going to. Um, someone asked in an earlier meeting whether or not you thought the chief was doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And what's your opinion today? <coughs> What, from, from a statistical standpoint, from prior to, well, you can't go prior to this. Is there, the chief doing a good job is the question. What, what I know, yes, the chief is doing a good job. Okay. He hasn't published his, his uh, plan. Right. Have you seen the plan? I've seen some of it, yes. Okay, you've seen partial plan. Mm -hmm. And he's had seven months to come up with his plan. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pepper, is he doing a good job? Generally, yes. When it comes to communication, no. No, he's probably on the bottom of my list when it comes to communication. And it's not just with the public, but with me as well. Uh, but I will say that generally, I think he's doing a good job as police chief. Uh, strategically, I think that there needs to be some work on his plan. I think that uh, if, if there has been a plan, I haven't seen it. Um, 
I think there should be a plan presented to the public. I think that there is a lot of uh, issues going on right now with different sides on how people have different opinions on the situation that's currently at hand. And I'm looking forward to seeing what plan he does intend to present to, I guess, address any public concerns about public safety or building community partnership or relationships with the, uh, with the police department and the community. But I will say that, again, generally, he's doing a good job. Yeah, I will say you guys like to come ask us these yes or no. I, I, I you're either in or you're time. out. I don't want to waste my time. That's why. I understand. No, you're not right now. I got you paused. Thanks. Um, and that everything has nuance. I think you can, all of us can appreciate that, right? I will say um, I do feel like there's been a a big void of leadership, and I've said it about the mayor, I've said it in the newspaper, y'all can go look it up. Um, and I think there has been from the chief, especially public facing. Um, we need we need leadership right now more than ever, and it, there's been a big void, and it, somebody's gonna have to step into it. Um, I, Friday's, and I wasn't there, um, but the newspaper article, and then I did know some people there that uh, I talked to, about Friday's uh, hearing. That was very alarming, disappointing. Yeah. Um, I don't really know whether, what other words to use um, and really impacted my thoughts on, on how we can really move forward. So um, I, I want to give everybody a shot when they say they want to help us move forward. I mean, literally everyone, right? Um, including Chief Pinion, uh, but we're, we're, run, we're, we're running out of time. I mean, somebody's got to step into the void and help lead us through it. So I'm struggling right now to answer that question. I would offer the shot clock is over. And I've talked about with some of you about, he says shot clock, but time frames. And, you know, we can continue. So I'll say this. I think I failed early on, probably in a lot of ways. Um, but one specifically I can point to is having conversations like hey we need a plan early on in this six plus months ago hey we really need a plan to lead us lead us forward what are we going to do how do we fix some things even if it's just perception that matters right perception is reality in a lot of ways so how do we move forward yeah 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 we're working on that well i should have said okay we need it in 30 days i didn't do that um, but i have done that now so we got to get something, um, but I, I know that I'm not answering your question specifically, but I'm struggling right now with that. So that's all I'll say. Okay, well, I appreciate that. And I'd offer as a legislative body, you can do something about that. You can make a resolution to deal with this situation that is on your plates. I think if we don't, this is coming from me and I can put stuff on the agenda if I want to and not put other things if I don't want to. Um, I've always put things on when they've been requested. Uh, by any council member at least one time. I'm not going to put it on every month if it continues to fail, but um, I think you'll start to see some, some things moving if we don't get something very quickly. Thank you. I have, um, I think it was last meeting I said that we've got good police officers, and we do. We have a lot of good police officers in our department still. People might not feel that way. But I do feel, too, that without the presence of those good police officers, the ones who are standing up and the ones who are trying to do the things that are right, that with the leadership standard that we have in our department right now, that our police department would be in a situation of total disarray. I think that the gag order hearings showed that there is no leadership, that our leadership suffers, that a chain of custody is one of the basic um, guidelines that we have as a police department in any investigation. And when that is trampled on and the chain of custody is not fully adhered to, then it says a lot about our entire department. I've said before that um, I do not think that Chief Pinion is the right person for this job at this particular point, and I stand beside that. I was very disappointed Friday uh, or Friday evening, Saturday morning when I caught up on everything. Um, there's a significant void of leadership, um, specifically in the police department right now. Um, I've not been thoroughly impressed with what I've seen. And uh, similar to what 
Jacob said months ago, I sat down and had a conversation with Chief about a plan to move forward. And my biggest thing was just to get to start building a relationship back with the community. And I've not seen that. I, I continue to hear about a plan. It's coming. It's being worked on. We haven't seen it. And, and it shouldn't take seven months. It should not take this long. It shouldn't take that long to start the plan, much less to present or have those conversations. So personally, I'm pretty fed up with hearing about things that are going to happen and not seeing things happening. So um, I'm very much questioning the leadership throughout our police department, um, just like I've said with other individuals. Okay, I think we can walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. And in that light, a resolution for action for the police chief to provide, let's say, a, we had a Thursday meeting for some special buildings being built up real quick. Mr. Marks highlighted that to us today. Maybe we should set up a special meeting to do the exact same thing for the police chief and his plan. I, I think we'll make that decision. Um, but I, look, we'll consider that, but I, I think there's some other avenues as well, so. Yeah, well, chewing gum and walking, we can do two. I understand what and you're saying. Light, and right. I'm, I, what I'm telling you is I'm working on it. And if, if you don't see movement quickly, come at me. I won't do that. Uh, but again, in the eyes of walking and chewing both I understand, at the same time, but what I'm telling also, you is I'm walking and chewing gum. I got you. I, I think there's a potential for us to then take a look at who might be the next police chief if we don't have faith well, in the current let's, body. Well, let's move forward and, and again if you don't see something in a reasonable quick time frame of at least trying to move some things forward y'all come after me but but give me a shot how much time do i have six seconds <laughs> <laughs> all right uh sarah french But um, so this plan, I'm just going to say I work full, two full time jobs and sometimes I get home at 930. But if you're passionate about what you're doing, you'll do it. So I don't see why it can't be done quicker. Um, and then I also pour into this. So almost three full time jobs. But again, if you're passionate about it and it needs to happen, make it happen. Um, also, something was said about um, public relations. Uh, why isn't the public relations person rele for DPD releasing press releases with all that's happening in our city? Last week, people were telling me things that happened here in the last two weeks, nothing to do with Justice for Steve, massive thefts, shootings, and more. My jaw dropped open. I had no clue all this was going on in our city. The citizens need to be informed. If I'm here and active weekly and didn't even know, then I believe people are hiding stuff. I mean, there's no reason they can't let us know what's going on in our city. I asked last week if you could find out if anything has been done in the investigation to the first third Friday in April. I was wondering if anyone had time to ask Chief if that's went anywhere. About the third Friday? The I first think. one. Oh, no. I, I thought your question last week was around the one that just happened that you wanted to make oh, sure. Oh, I asked that as that, well, that and that went peacefully. That I appreciate okay. that. We didn't I, have any issues. But the first Third Friday, I'm still waiting to see if anything from were what I understand, six weeks out. That's, a, that's one of those things that's personnel. I don't know the answer to that. I think they're... Well, can you ask him when you meet with him this week? Well, yes. Can we move forward with knowing at least someone got in trouble for illegal things that were done that night? Um, so I would also ask you to look even more so into it because Lieutenant Renshaw has been outed out now for numerous mishandlings surrounding this murder. I personally have been attacked in comments by him under his fake profiles. I didn't know at the time it was him, the same man who I also witnessed targeting and attacking people at that third Friday. This man hopefully now is on at least on leave and being fully investigated because that's what needs to happen. There are steps that you, our city council, can help the city in doing this. These officers, and this just being one of many officers, are that are making it impossible for our city to heal and work together. Justice for Steve. Thanks, Sarah. Amy Faruqi. Okay, the uh, 
allegation of doxing of citizens by the members of the police department. Uh, that's shocking to me. That means that I could very well be a victim of said doxing and or investigative use by the police department, a violation of my civil rights. Actually, doxing by anyone is a crime. Correct. Including us. If somebody posts our address online, it's illegal. Well, beyond the, the address of yeah. the individual, um, the use of, it, of information by a police officer in an investigative capacity, which means he could run any of our names through his center database, finding our address, finding where we live, finding what car we drive. Uh, I would like to know what investigative use the police department sees, approved investigative use the police department sees in such activity. So when you have your meeting with the police department, you have a comment? I, I do have a comment. So just to add to that, so the system that they use to run those names is monitored by many different people, and it's actually monitored by the FBI. And the FBI runs the National Crime Information Center, so whenever they run your, your driver's license or run your name to find out where you live, if they're caught using that for personal gain, that's a felony. So if they're caught, and they very quickly would be caught because if they're not out with that individual or if they're not out on a call and they're typing in names, it's very easy to catch them in the situation. It would be very easy to find a relation between that individual. So I do not believe that's happening. And I'm not saying that you're accusing them of doing that. I just wanted to make sure that you're aware. I do not believe that's happening. And if it was happening, I'm sure the FBI would be sitting right out that front door waiting for each one of them. I would hope the FBI would have other things to, to do. Thank you. Do you have a go, no, I'll just let you go ahead. Okay. Um, the gentleman that just talked, uh, Mr. Marks, you highlighted the, the, the business that's coming to Decatur, maybe coming to Decatur. Okay. Um, who's going to build that garage? So it's not a garage. It's a, a parking deck. Parking. Yeah, I mean, a parking lot. They, they, they are. Green Point is. They will handle that construction. Okay. So probably fight will not be involved in the building of that. I mean, we could be, but in the agreement, it says that Greenpoint is to do that. Okay, and your job again at fight is? Look, I'm just going to say this right now yeah. and be as clear as possible. If you have a problem with my ethics or want to question my morals, you can do it any day, but you're not, you're not going to sit up here and continuously point that out. I have a job to do. I have a family to provide for, and this job don't do it. Okay? Maybe you need to step down if their priority I, is your I don't have to. Business. There, There is no ethics issues with me working at FIDE and being on the city council. If there is, file a complaint, take it up, see if it works out for you. Um, I already made a complaint against one individual who's not here today. Uh, if I find evidence if, that, if, you, I if you think there's an issue with my ethics, or if you're questioning my integrity or my morals, file a complaint, see if there's an issue, and we'll go from there. But if FIDE decides to bid on something, we will bid on it. We will. I'm an employee there, yes. Okay. All. all right, thank you. Uh, Angela Kennedy. Uh, Rodney. Hey, what's up? Hey, Rod. Uh, here's one man. I, out of all this stuff that doesn't happen since September 29th, all right, and all this, the lying and the, the, uh, the leaks and the, uh, all this misrepresentation, all the false reports. And as leaders, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start right here. You still come back and say this man doing a good job. I mean, how can you even come up with a scenario, man, with all these checks? You understand know I me? Mean? And you're leading us, you leading the city. You know what I'm saying? I don't even see how y'all pull the pull the the pull the uh, the, uh, the uh, parking lot off. Those people probably would just pull it out because man, y'all are really playing games with this thing, man. Did y'all go to the to the hearing? No, no. Okay, but but you know about it and what you heard about it. I mean, come on, man. And then you 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 take the take the uh, the the, uh, the cam to be. All church. The hunt is to be altered. Why? If you're right, 
if you if you done the right thing, then why? And then you say, you say, hey, Steve's doing a good job. Really, man? I mean, come on, man. Y'all destroying our city, man. You part of it. Eric, you hadn't gave a correct answer in seven months. Every time somebody, oh, I mean, we working on it, we working on it. And you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be representing us because you're the li liaison, right? He's the, between us and the police department. You ain't, you ain't, bro, you failed. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's awful. It's awful. And then you, you sit up and you talk and then contradict everything you say. When the DOJ come, they'll come get you in the middle of the night. I, I just, you been warned. Man. I'm telling you what's happening now. You better be ready. Yeah, you better be ready. I'm telling you. Y'all, it's ridiculous. The way this thing has turned out, and, and what you saw Friday, y'all, it's a mockery. Oh, Mr. Mars, as an attorney for the cater, I'd be ashamed to be affiliated with a department that's carry on that way. I would be ashamed, man. I would be what, not want my name affiliated with that. And buddy, hey, 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 bang. You ought to be right there. It's ridiculous the way, you know, it's ridiculous. Yo, what happened Friday, man? I'm ashamed of my city, man. I'm ashamed of it, man. The, the way the police officers and the way they, they, they operated, it's ridiculous. And then another thing, you know, about the third Friday, Billy, ain't nobody can call me and that means I'm all right. I'm one of the ones he threatened and targeted. Nobody asked me that. And you, as a, as, as a liaison, you should have called me and asked me. Said, right, what's going on, y'all? But see, I, expect, I didn't expect it from you because, because Steve got killed in your district. Mm, that's right. You supposed to be handled that. You don't care, man. That's right. You supposed to be handled that. You spoke, but you have never, ever stood up, you understand me, like a man, and said, hey, what happened to him was wrong. And whoever did it, you're going to pay for it. But you ain't gonna do that because you ride with them people. Yeah. You're on the team. You're on the wrong team. See, here's the deal, y'all. It's time out for for who's right. It's what's right. You know what I said? It's time out for what's right. What's right, bro? It's time out for what's right. Not who's right. It's time to stand up, man. You understand me? And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not perfect. I don't do everything right. But I don't do everything wrong neither. I'm telling you something, man. God will get y'all, man. Bro, I'm telling you now, it's going to happen, man. It's going to come down on you. And I, I hate it. Hate it. In a lot of cases, a lot of innocent people be sacrificed because of your actions. And I don't know why y'all ain't got rid of him like, like he, your leader. That's like your dad. This right here, like dad running off leading shoes. Because you're in charge of the city. You run an operation and you gone. You don't want to hear what we got to say. You don't know what y'all. And, and to, the, to the city of Decatur, especially Northwest Decatur, I'm sorry. Because I got in the office. I bagged him. I brought him to the hood. I brought him everywhere, I, every event I had, I brought him, y'all. And I shouldn't have done it because I didn't know him. I didn't know him. Okay, it's, it's, it's awful. It's awful, man. And all you, y'all, the people in y'all district, white and black, they better evaluate you. Yeah, but because y'all some else, man. I can't. I don't even see how you can sit. And I'm not attacking nobody. How you can just go along with wrong? Mm. But you know what the Bible said: the time would, would come when they would not even do a sound doctrine. So they would turn their ears away from the truth. I don't understand it, man. This here, you can make it right though. <laughs> man up. You can make it. Man up. You can make it right. Man up, cause when them folks come, all the more crazy stuff, that's it. That's it you making and lies you telling. It's gonna be hard on you, boy. Yeah, and you ain't got no business, no see no jail cell. <laughs> come on, DOJ. Okay, I'm telling you something good. Listen to me. And to you, to you, uh, my man Pipe, I uh, uh, applaud your your position. Bill Jackson, I applaud your position. Jacob, I applaud your position. Cause see, you answer the question like it's supposed to be answered. Y'all take go all the way around the truth. Go all the way around the truth. Yes. Yeah. He ain't no. Listen, man. He, he's not doing a good job. Period. Question. Out here. Who ain't doing a good job? Rodney. Rodney. Rod, come on. <laughs> We're not polling the audience. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, it's just, it's just, it don't make sense, y'all. But what I'm, what I'm doing is, what I'm, what I'm, you, I'm gonna leave you with this right here, man. You can still fix it, man. It's time. Y'all gotta get rid of them, man. They got to go. He gotta go. We just hit three for the second time. Y'all got three minutes. I got three. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen to me. It's time for him to go. And the chief, it's time for him to go. And then, how you make a plan without the community? <laughs> We we are okay. We we just gave them to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I now check this you, out. This is you right already here. gave yours away. Oh, okay. This is the problem we got. <laughs> we hey we hey hey we we hear you. We hear you. Okay. I got everything. You want you you sure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> just make, make, if you can just make. Okay, okay, listen, here's a deal, y'all. Check this out, listen to me. Here's one man. Okay. <laughs> y'all, we've we been, we been right here too long. Okay? You know, the, the plan of correction has not even been presented. We put time, we, 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 uh, we play with parts and procedure. Nobody has corrected anything. You understand? And then, and then when you ask the people who, who, who go against the policy, they got death duty. If that's all I had to do, the only point was for me for, for death duty, I'd be reckless like they is. I'd be going, they're going to know. Because there's no, there's no discipline. There's no consequences. There's no consequences, y'all. And, and y'all, we got to fix this. You know, all the police ain't bad, but all of them ain't good neither. And the ones that know they're done, oh, like, like Wrench showing them, these people, they high archies. They high on the, on the totem pole, and they just acting a fool. And nobody's doing anything. You understand what I'm saying? It, you, you as a, as a liaison, you should have been had them sit down. Sit down, all y'all. What are you doing? What do you think y'all doing? Well, I'm, I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to. You always going to do something. But Rodney, you I, 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 no, 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 this is my time. Don't talk to me. I'm not. Listen to me. You, every question you ask, you never give a com complete answer. Never. And then you give an answer, and then you give another answer. Hold on, hold on, Ronnie. Hold, <laughs> hold, 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 hold on, no, 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 no. So hold what's happening? Here's the deal, y'all. This is what I want you to know. Here, you you come come up up to you. I need your, I need your full cooperation. And you want to respond to you? It don't exist. He's trying to get. I want to talk to him. He's trying to get you to respond. Then don't come up here and speak if you don't want to hear from us. I don't want to hear. Okay, if you don't want to hear from us, do not come up here and speak. We don't want to hear it. It's okay. We don't want to hear you. You don't want to hear us. I trust me. It's mutual feelings. I feel it. The, Rodney, you come up here, you ask us questions, and you say these things. So please walk away, make my day. But you come up here and ask these questions, but you won't let us respond. That's the manly thing to do is walk away. All right, Terrence. You know, one day somebody's going to stand up and lead this city, and I wish it would be today. But. After Friday's, what would you like a leader to do in the city? I'm curious to know. Hey, let let him speak. Well, it, it, it's repetitive, so you've said this multiple times. So I'd like, Mr. To, Pepper, I'd like to know what you'd like to see in a leader. Well, pause it then. I... All right, Terrence, Terrence, just go ahead. I I I can do it. Danny. We can't, Danny. It's Danny's. I, I'm sorry. I, we can't get up. And, for me? No, no, What I'm saying is that. You've already called Danny. Let Danny come up and speak. I didn't ask you a question. He didn't ask you a question. He didn't ask you to respond. Yeah. He, you had no reason to respond. So when we come up here to speak, it's public comment because we can comment on what we want to speak about publicly. That does not mean you get to comment back to us if we do not ask you a question. That's the first thing. So, before we go there, we we came to the we've we've come to the meetings and we've come, over and over and over again we've asked McMaster's, what is the plan? Have you heard a plan? Have you heard of anything? Have you seen anything? And your answer has been yes, it's been worked on. It's being worked on. So, we found out last week that there is a plan that is being. Uh, proposed and or worked on for members of, of the community that's not a part of our community. Um, and I will, I'll say it because I'm not afraid to say anything that I have to say. Is it DMDA? DMDA, regardless of what position they've held in our community for 30 years, they have not used that 
position that they have to progress our community. Regardless of what they tell you guys, and I've told this to you in meetings privately, we do not speak to them. Nobody in our community speaks to them. They do not speak to us. They do not come to events. They do not come to cookouts. They don't come to anybody's mother's house. They don't go to schools. They don't do anything. Regardless of the scholarships that they give out. We asked you before and you said the plans are being worked on, but you got in the paper as soon as a letter that was released that had nothing to do with you, and you said that the plan was a good plan, but you just told us that you haven't seen the plan. So how do you know it's a good plan? The parts, if you, the parts of it I have seen. So you have seen some of it. Parts of it, yes. Okay, I haven't seen earlier, the plan you in seen, totality. I said I've it, seen some of it. No, you did not. You said you have not seen it. You said it was his plan, and you were waiting on him to release it so that you can see what was in it, which means the must that we've been coming up here asking you what a plan, what plan is there? Is there a plan? You have been telling us there is no plan, which is what, or you've been telling, you haven't seen it, he's working on one when you have seen it. You just admitted that you have seen I've it. I've seen some of it, yes. Exactly. So what I'm saying is when we come up here and we ask questions, we ask questions to get answers. That does not mean we will get the answer that we want. That means that we will get answers, not a lie. Because what you just told us was a lie. No, I haven't. No, 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 no. Master, you said that you hadn't seen it. I haven't seen the plan in its totality. It's, it, but that is all you said. That is not what you said before. That is not the phrasing that you used before, that you have seen the plan. You haven't seen it in totality. You said you have not seen it. And we asked you over and over, you want to meet with us, you want to call us, you want to say, hey, can we do this, can we do this? And every time we ask you for a meeting, or we tell you what we, what we uh, want, and you say, you'll go find out, you'll do this, and we'll come back to the next council meeting, and we have no answers. That's the first thing. I want to commend the people, Pike and Ladner for at least your stance on what you said. Um, uh, previously to us. Now you did say that if you found out the leak came from the police department and to hold you to it, that you would find it very hard. Still stand by that. Stand, you stand by that. Anybody got the news? I think we got Linux. Yeah, wow. And can I take it, Terrence's? We can't do once we're getting them, and th this that gets way out of control. I'm sorry. I buy the last one. Two minutes. No, there's one more. Okay. Uh, I don't All think right. he wants to give us minutes. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank I got you. Uh, Tory Clay. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Tory. I can kind of understand how you have renegade road cops on the police force when you got a renegade road councilman sit here and cite violence and violence with people. These people get to talk, express themselves, they're hurt, and then you got combative people in here like this shouldn't happen like that. I'm very upset right now. Um, given the events that happened with the gag order. What is the council's position with keeping opinion um, escalating chief right now? I think we kind of answered that. Some maybe Anissa or somebody asked it earlier. Um, we, uh, I don't know if there was a poll, but for us to make any type of change without it coming from the mayor, from what I understand, takes four votes to do that. Um, I believe Herman. So I, I think we we really need some answers on a lot of the stuff that came out from Friday. Um, I spent a lot of time on the phone yesterday w working on trying to figure some stuff out. I'm trying to be helpful. If you'll just give a little bit of time, we've got to see some forward momentum or there's got to be changes made. Yeah, I just wonder how much more latitude would he Very get? little. I mean, it gives a point now where it's getting dangerous. Does that answer you? It does answer okay. the question. Then you have a, a lieutenant on the, on the department who's dangerous. That's outside of our purview. But I understand, understand that something has yep. to be done. He is extremely dangerous and it's, going to not, it's not going to end well if he continues to, to serve on this police force. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, council, anything else? All right, we'll stand adjourned. Thank you.